Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, part 11, I guess. <clears throat> so obviously here we have Omae, Omae, and then Okiru no da Omae. Um, Okiru is to uh, to get up, to wake up, I suppose. Um, although, well, it's it's more to get up. Like after you've woken up, if it's getting up out of bed is okiru, or getting up off the floor or whatever, is okiru. And then we have noda, um, just again, that sort of way of giving a request with omaya again at the end. <clears throat> Ooh, then we've got shikari shiro omaya. Um, shikari is essentially like sturdy. Um, sturdy, kind of, like, I don't know, strong and kind of prepared and stuff, it's a sturdy sort of thing. Um, I'll look it up. I'll look it up and see what definitions are given. Firmly, tightly, level-headed, steady, that kind of thing. Um, and then shiro, which is the imperative of suru, weirdly. So shiro is just, you know, it's, it's, it's just the imperative. So it's just, you know, be sturdy kind of thing. You know, make it so that you are sturdy kind of thing. <laughs> Literally. And then omaya. We've already seen this. <clears throat> Who's talking at you? And then, Doda, Kiga Tsuitaka. That's really annoying. I didn't notice it was going to do that. Anyway, we had Doda, just meaning like how, or like you know, how are you? How how is it? How are things? How's it going? Um, and then he said, Kiga Tsuita. Ki is one's kind of consciousness, basically. Um. I guess it has one's consciousness, one's mind. Sometimes it kind of means mind. But I suppose consciousness is quite a good translation if you translate everything properly using that word. Anyway, so and then he said sku, and sku is kigatsuku. Sku is kind of to, ah, it's weird, man. I don't like this. Sku is kind of to be attached to something. Basically, um, so kigatsuita, I suppose it, you could maybe think of it as like, did your consciousness kind of attach, you know, to your body? Are you, you know, have you woken up? Are you back? Are you conscious again? Kind of thing. Kigatsuita. But, you know, you don't really have to think of it like that. Just kigatsuku is to kind of, you know, to be alert, to be conscious, to be awake, to be, um, to be conscious, basically. Okay, good. We didn't auto skip. Um, and here we have uh, 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 what is this? An guy? No, is that E guy? Hold on. I'm really. Oh, is this E guy? No, it's not E guy. An guy. An guy. You can say An guy. Anyway, An guy. Nibui yatsu dana. So An guy is uh, unexpectedly is what my dictionary tells me people will usually say igai with a different kanji so igai means like surprisingly or suspe or you know unexpectedly but he said ungai i don't know why he's opted for that one but he has and then nibui basically means dull i think it's literally like dull in the sense of not sharp and in this case, that happens to work well with the English. You know, a sharp person is someone who is observant, quick to understand things, and therefore, I suppose, you know, a not sharp person, a dull person, would be someone who's a bit slow, you know, a bit dim, doesn't notice, you know, isn't quick to notice things, you know, stuff like that. So Nibui, yeah, means dull in the sense of not sharp, and that's, that's kind of literal um, for... I guess weapons and stuff but people often use like maybe nibui or the verb niburu to mean that something is kind of 
like rusty or lacking in skill or whatever. Or rusty, actually. Nibuteru is to kind of be rusty. Anyway, Nibui Yatsu. And Yatsu is just, you know, guy. It's kind of an impolite. You know, you're an unexpectedly dull or dim. Dim guy. I don't know, man. I can't think of a good translation for Yatsu. It's slightly impolite, you know? And then Dana, just a declarative with kind of a rhetorical agreement seeking thing. Watch out, Rinky. <laughs> and now, Odoroitaka. So, uh, Odoroku is to be kind of, yeah, be, be, be surprised. That's kind of it. And then Odoroita, of course, is the past tense. And then Ka is just a question the fire thing. Question the fire. Um. Yeah. Sekai. Huh? Oh, I wonder if this is Hidosh. To Iedomo. What is this thing? Excuse me. Um. Kotoba o Hanasu Fune Nanzo. Nanzo to you, mono wa. What is this? I'm gonna have to ask about this. We're probably gonna get a lot of this in this game. Um, a lot of these words that <clears throat> don't make sense to me. But I think he's saying uh, Sekai. Well, Sekai is world. Hiroi, as it usually is, means like wide, broad, spacious. You know, wide in this case. But he's got she here, um, which I don't think I'm, I'm not going to get results for that. No, definitely not. Um, I think maybe this is just kind of an old adjective conjugation or an old way of saying this adjective. Sekai, hiro, she. Ah man, there's all sorts going on. Let me put yet. Dolmol. I don't think that's going to have any entries either. Oh, it does. So, Ie Dolmol <clears throat> just means like... I think this is just like Itemo. Like, even if you say, kind of, this is just a quote particle, the toe is just a quote particle. So, it's kind of like, even if you say, quote, the world is, you know, broad, the world, the world is wide, the world is spacious, the world is large. Um... Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of good. I, I I don't know why it's ie domo. Sometimes ie comes into certain words that mean kind of but. There's this phrase like towa ie, which I think is the I think so, I think that's how you say it. Towa ie. I don't think it's towa ie. Towa ie, and it basically means but. Um, so I guess this is just kind of yeah. As I said, like even though even though you can say, quote, the world is wide or big. Kotoba o hanasu fune nanzo. I don't know what nanzo is. Kotoba um, is just words. Hanasu is to speak or to talk. And then fune is just boat. I think we've seen that, right? Did we see, did we see fune? And then nanzo. I don't know, man. Who cares? Toyu mono. So toyu, this is just kind of saying, This. I think to is just taking this as a quote. And then you is just saying, kind of. So it's like the kind of quote, the, the kind of, well, mono is thing. So the kind of thing that quote, you know, is a boat that can speak words. Um, it's sort of like saying, you know, such a thing as a boat that can speak. Um, and then we've got, oh, sorry, I say a boat. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, no, it is right, isn't it? Such a thing as... You know, a boat that can speak. What? There's like your topic marker. So he hasn't made his point about that yet. He's going to put that in the next text box. Um, I think Nanzo is just a little bit kind of... What's the word? Oh no, never mind. There's a good entry here. Etc. and the like and so forth. So such a thing as, for example, in kind of a way, maybe. Or such such a thing as a talking boat. 
or things of the like, I guess. Yeah, and the like, as I said. Anyway, then we've got wa. Um, koko ni iru watashi dake dakaran. Oh, watashi dake dakara na. Something like that. Um, so in the last text box, he was saying um, such a thing as, uh, you know, a boat that can speak words and the like. And now he's saying kind of only I who exists at here. Kind of. Koko ni iru watashi. So koko ni iru is modifying watashi. So it's like the me who, who exists here now kind of thing. The me who is here. And then we've got dake meaning only. So only the me who is here now. Um, and then dakara is kind of, I think that's kind of saying like, you know, because... And this is referring right back to when he said, like, Odoroitaka, I think. So it's like, you know, are you surprised? And then he's like saying, uh, well, you know, that's because um, even though you can say the world is large, you know, I am the only, you know, the me that is here is the only thing that is, you know, like a boat that can talk and the like. So it's just, yeah, it's, it's it's all muddled up and stuff, but yeah. I think, anyway. And then now at the end, just, again, just, yeah, rhetorical agreement seeker. Um, ma, muri mo nai wa. Um, so ma just, you know, kind of neutralizing the mood again, I feel. Kind of saying, like, well, you know, you know, never mind that. Just kind of neutralizing the, the mood. And then muri mo nai. Muri mo nai just kind of means, like... Moody Monai just means like Moody Monai. That's natural, I feel, but I don't I don't honestly I don't really know why. Yeah, to be natural, to be understandable. I wonder if it has to use Mo in the middle as well. I think it does. Anyway, yeah, just you know. So, yeah, just like, well, uh, that's understandable. And he's saying war at the end, which I take to be a kind of a feminine sentence ender. But, you know, he's decided to do it. I, don't, I wonder if it lightens the mood a little bit or something, just lightens his tone. You know, maybe it sounds, you know, maybe it does sound a bit more feminine and therefore, you know, maybe a bit more... Just, I don't know, yeah, a bit more welcoming? I don't know, who knows. Oh god, here we go. Uh, Watashi Waha. I don't know this. This is his name, anyway. Um, uh, this could be Ma. Mashishi no O? Hold on. Mashi? I I, I'm not going to get this. Let me search for, let me search for Lion. Oh, it is Shishi. Oh, that's good. Um, so it could be like mashishi no o. I don't think it would be seki shishi. I don't think it's seki shishi. I don't think it's akashishi. But it could be akashishi. I, I'm not sure. I think it's mashishi no o. Which is obviously like the red lion king. Um, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> uh, anshin shirao. Omae no teki dewanai. Um, so Anshin is basically like uh, relaxed, at ease, calm, um, and he's saying Shido, with that's the imperative of Sudo again. So it's like be fucking calm, which kind of obviously isn't the <laughs> isn't the mood he means it in, but you know that is imperative. Um, Anshin Shido. I think sometimes imperative just kind of kind of sounds military. Or maybe, you know, because obviously he is a king, he kind of can talk to people like this, I suppose. He So maybe that's just that, because he's the or a king. He can say, be at ease, you know, stand down kind of thing. Well, that's not what he's saying here, but, you know, he can do because of who he is. Um, and then, yeah, Omaya no Teki Dewa Nai. So your enemy, you know, to not be, basically. I am not your enemy. <clears throat> or my... 
私はお前が魔獣島に妹を助けに行った一部シシュレあとならシシュシシュシシュシュシシュを見させてもらった。OK。So I, obviously,、um, uh, I think this is bringing us up as like the subject of this clause. So I, and then you, <laughs> to Great Beast Island,、um, went to、uh, help sister, little sister, went to help little sister. Ichibu Shisa Shishu. I'm get, I, I keep saying that wrong. I want to say Shisai, but I don't know why. Ichibu Shishu. Oh, Shiju. Ichibu Shiju. That makes it easier to say. Okay. Ichibu Shiju is just like. Maybe it's literally like one part from the beginning to the end. So it's like everything. Every part of it. Maybe like as, a, as one thing from the beginning to the end. And then misasete morata is saying I. Well, moral is to receive. And this is obviously past tense, morata. So it's kind of like I received your showing. I received your showing me, you know, all of the details of your went of your went to help your sister at Great Beast Island. Well, there's the you. There's the you that I said earlier, and then Watashiwa. But, you know, I saw that. And this is quite common in Japanese. You will often use causative. And then you will put like itadaku or morale to say that I kind of receive your allowing me to do this.、Uh, which I know is kind of weird in English, but if you kind of. Think of it like that, it gets very easy to、um, understand the Japanese for it, and you can start to use it yourself. Like, kikasete itadakimasu, or whatever. I will kind of receive your allowing me to hear, or, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's long. It, it might be a bit tricky at first, but it gets,、um, gets easier.、Um, <clears throat> And he is, it's kind of interesting because he said, Mi sasete moratta, instead of Mi sete moratta, which would be, I feel, essentially the same.、Uh, there's, there's a very slight nuance difference, probably, but the meaning is not different. So, yeah.、Um, Omae no imoto? Is that imoto? Omae no imoto omoi? No, yasash sato nani goto ni mo osorezu ni tachi mukau yuki wa wakaru nga. Okay, bloody hell. Alright, here we go.、Um, bloody hell. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, okay. So we're kind of working backwards here. We've got like yuki, which is like brave, I suppose. Intent, brave mind. It's like your intent, your feeling, I suppose, as well. Your feeling, your intent, your mind, you know. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, no, it is, it is. So it's brave that. But basically, Yuki is just bravery. Courage, I should say. It's very fitting for Zelda, actually, isn't it? The word courage. So, yeah, courage. And here we have Tachi Mukau, meaning basically to stand and face. So, to stand up against, basically. So, the courage to, I suppose, the courage to stand up and face. And then, osorezu ni. Osoredu is to fear or to be scared of something. And, osorezu is a negative form. And usually, if you kind of. This, this is very common in this sort of grammar point where you use the zu negative of a verb. With ni, meaning kind of without doing whatever the verb is. So without fearing.、Um, so, the, yeah, the courage to you know, stand up and face, you know, the courage of standing up and facing without fearing. <laughs> Nani goto ni mo. Okay, that's interesting. Nani goto is like, I guess, any circumstances, any phenomenon. Is kind of the idea. 
Yeah, it says nothing with a negative verb. So nani goto ni mo. And then mo is just kind of meaning like just just in kind of an all sense, an inclusive of all things kind of sense. Um, so yeah, just, just kind of, you know, without fearing anything, no matter what that thing is, is kind of the vibe. You don't fear it and, you know, the courage to stand up against it. Um, and then we have wa wakaru. So wa is contrasting this. It's kind of saying, I understand your, you know, courage to face against and, you know, not fear, you know, uh, like, like anything. I understand that, but with ga at the end, you know, I understand that, but. And then he's going to give another point that contrasts, you know, while I understand that, this I don't understand, or you should do this, or, you know, you were wrong to act in that way, or, you know, whatever he's going to say. The wa kind of contrasts it. And obviously we haven't talked about the start of the sentence. Um, I think this toe here is just meaning and. So he understands, as I already explained, the courage to stand up against and not fear anything. And he also understands um, the sort of uh, immortal or moi. Let me just check that because I don't think that has... I don't think it's going to have an entry. Um, no, it doesn't. I, uh, anyway, I think it's just, you know, thoughts. It's just your consideration of, you know, your sister, your little sister consideration. And then this no to link it to yasashsa, which is yasashi meaning um, kind of kind, gentle, caring kind of adjective. But if you change the final e in an e adjective to sa, it basically becomes a noun and it means the amount of that thing. Or it can mean the amount of that thing. Um, so for example, takai is tall or high and takasa is tallness or highness or height, I should say. Um, so this is just your gentleness, I suppose, your consideration, you know, um, uh, for the, uh, of the thoughts of your sister, I guess. Um, anyway, so he understands those feelings. Um, are dewa amari ni mo muboda. Okay, are dewa. Are dewa, so are referring to obviously what he saw way out in the distance, you know, where neither of us is now. Um, he saw it over there, or, or maybe it's the actions that we took. He's saying that those those actions in the past, you know, distant in time from the both of us, those actions or, or, or you know, what you did or whatever. Amari ni mo essentially means just like excessively. Um, it, it does not really, yeah, too much excessive. Amari ni mo. Amari kind of means excessive as well but people use amari ni mo like a bit of like a well whatever excessively is in um in english what is excessively it's not a modal verb is it it's like a it's i suppose it's an adverb um i don't know anyway too much excessively and then move all just means like reckless yeah reckless thoughtless and then duck just a declarative. So your actions out there were excessively thoughtless or, you know, too stupid. <laughs> too reckless. Um, omae mo uh, mita to omo ga. Ano okina shim... Oh, sorry. Tori o ayatsuru bukimina kage. Okay. What's his point here? I don't know. Um, so omae mo you also mita saw... To omo, like quote, I think, basically. I think, quote, you also saw. Ga, just meaning but. Ano okina tori wo ayatsuru bukinina kage. Uh, that, obviously, large bird. Wo ayatsuru. Ayatsuru. I'm just going to check the reading. I think I'm right, but. Yeah, ayatsuru. Ayatsuru is to control, basically. It says here to manipulate, to operate, to pull strings. So he's obviously. He's in charge. This this kage, which is shadow. 
Um, Bukimi na kage. So Bukimi just means like ominous, I think. Have we seen that already? Ominous, eerie, ghastly. Yeah, just, you know, unpleasant, you know, bad feeling, kind of evil vibe sort of thing. Bukimi na kage. And obviously all of the information in this, um, in this line is modifying kage. So the uh, shadow, or rather, I suppose, the ominous shadow that controls uh, that large bird. But he hasn't really made a point here. Okay. Yatsu no na wa ganon dorothu. So Yatsu, interesting, um, just saying guy. <laughs> I don't know why it's not like Aitsu or Kyatsu, but interestingly it's not, it's just Yatsu for some reason. Doesn't make much sense to me, but there you go. Uh, yatsu no Na, so like, uh, you know, guy's name, or I suppose I should say that guy's, or name, yeah, that guy's name. Ganondorf. 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 His name's Ganondorf. But he's not saying da or anything, it's quite weird, but there you go. Uh, kami no chikara o teni ire sekai o ankoku no makai e kaie yo to takurami? Kami no chikara ni o te fuin sareta. Is that the end of the sentence? Or is he, are we going to get more in the next text box? Okay, I did get that right. That is takurami. Um, kami no chikara, so God's power. Te ni ide, and that's obviously that this is the stem. Excuse me. Isha. That's the stem, but just because we want the sentence to continue, so there's more information to add. Um, so enter into the hand the uh, God's power. Sekai o ankoku no makai e. So this is kind of two. Makai, I guess, is like a demon world or hell kind of thing. Let me just search that. Makai. World of spirit. Yeah, you know, just, just, just a hellish world, basically. So, to a hellish world of darkness. Uh, Ankoku. Uh, that's just darkness. Or, so this is the object he's trying to uh, change to a hellish world. That is Sekai, the world. So, he's trying to change the world get a bit ahead of myself here actually um kaeru is to change but this is kaye yo to takurami bloody hell okay so kaye yo that's volitional yeah that's volitional so it's kind of like he intended he endeavored to he had kind of opted he was hell bent on doing this maybe uh kaye yo to takurami. Um, I think to here is just essentially kaiyo to takurami. It's just basically making this part of the sentence into a actable clause, I guess. And he kind of takuramu is to um, to plot, to scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To plot or to scheme, and that's the stem again because we want the sentence to continue because there's more information to add. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, so he plotted to change the world into a, you know, into a, into a, a hellish world of darkness, and then kami no chikara ni yotte, I think that's kind of like, this is kind of optional, <clears throat> you don't really need yotte, um, but I guess it's more proper. Uh, but this is one of those situations where we've got a passive verb, in this case, the passive of suru, and it's past tense as well, so from suru to sareta, so was somethinged, and here we have fuin, which is like seal, a seal, or when it's a verb, of course, to, to seal, or when it's a passive verb, in the past tense, to be sealed, you know, was sealed, and then we've got kind of by... Ni is by on its own, but as I said, yotte, I suppose, is more proper. So, ni yotte, by the god's power. He was sealed by the god's power. Um, 
so yeah so he tried to get the god's power um and kind of you know he, he plotted to uh change the world into um a, a, a hellish world of darkness um but then you know he was sealed by the god's power sealed away uh inishie no densetsu ni aru makai no tei o sore ga ano ganon dorufu na no da um okay so i think this is kind of just bringing up information here so this is just saying like inishie which is just like ancient times long ago um sort of thing kind of olden days but that sounds a bit recent in english you know you know ancient times basically not densetsu so the legend of ancient times uh ni aru makai ni aru makai no tei o let me just check that reading for that I'm sure, i think that's tei o but you never know no it totally is okay um inishie no densetsu ni aru makai no tei o so it's kind of tei o this kanji kind of means like emperor i believe actually does it yeah kind of and then this one means king so it's like the the, the ruler i guess it's a bit you could say king i suppose it's it's a bit more fancy sounding than that maybe um so he's the king of the hell world um that exists in the legend of ancient times it's literally backwards or, 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 um in fact it's not even saying he is it's just saying it's just saying the the ruler of the yeah the hell world that exists in the legends of ancient times and it's saying soringa uh that i think referring to this maybe that that thing i just mentioned um ano ganondorf nanoda that ganondorf i'm not sure how this works whoops um soringa nishino densetsu ni aru makai no te o soringa ano ganondorf nanoda yeah so maybe the thing the you know that thing the king mentioned in those legends is that ganondorf that you that we were just talking about and then nanot just for explanation explanatory language and then da which is a declarative um kami no fu in ga naze to kareta no ka wakaranu ga e kyatsu ga yomigayetto ima futatabi sekai wa jaku na malyoku ni odo ya i don't know this Odo, odo kosu, isn't it? No. Odo yaka. I don't know, man. What is this? Oyo? No. Odaya. I don't know, man. What is this word? Anyway, I know it's in Oku. I think it's in Okubyo, isn't it? No, it's not in Oku Okubyo. Damn it. What is that, dude? Odosu? Oh, good. It is. You can do Odosu. Okay, to get it. Now I just need cut. Obiyakasu. Obiyakasu. What is even that? Obiyakasu. That is ridiculous. Okay. I'll try to remember that from now on. Um, da 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 da. Obiyakasare. <laughs> Hajimeteiru no da. Okay. Excuse me. I couldn't read that word. Okay. So, where are we starting with this? Kami no fuin ga. Okay, so that's pretty simple at the start. The gods seal ga. Just not really saying anything. Just bringing that up as the as the point, I suppose. Um, naze tokareta no ka. So this is just a question in the sentence that can then be acted on. Um, and I think that's tokare. Tokareru. So toku. Okay. So toka to toku. Toku would be your base verb, and that's to solve or to 
uh, I suppose, lift or to dispel. Or, uh, is that even right? It could be Hodoku. It could be Hodoku. Hodokareta. I don't think it is, though. I think it's Toku. I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, this is the past passive. <laughs> so we've literally got in this part, we've got why. Naze is why. Um, why kind of was it lifted? Why was it solved? Why was the seal, you know, undone? And then, as I said, that's a question that can now be acted on. So, wakaranu ga. So I do. So, yeah. The, sorry. The the, the 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 God's seal. Why was it solved? I don't know. Basically, I don't know. But wakaranu ga. Kyatsu ga yomi ga ima. So all of this is actually modifying ima, meaning now or the present. Or whatever so it's kind of in English we have to, you kind of have to do it backwards it's like now that he is rev revived now that he is back now that he has resurrected uh, Futata B once again for a second time maybe um, Sekai wa the world Ja Aku Na um, just evil Malyoku kind of kind of demon magic or bad magic you know bad oh sorry no power so what am i talking about um malyoku is magic isn't it so evil magic i think and then neat just saying again by so by evil magic um and then what was this obi yokasu obi yokasare and again that's the passive so the world will be kind of menaced and threatened. Let me just look that up. Or be Yakasu again. To intimidate, to scare, to endanger, to imperil. Okay, interesting. To jeopardize. So yeah. So it will be kind of imperiled. I quite like that word. The world will be imperiled by evil magic. Um, you know, once again. And now that he has resurrected. Actually, sorry. Hajime teiru. Hajime teiru. What? Hajimeteiru. Well, Hajimeru is to start, so I guess it must just mean, you know, the world is starting to be menaced by him now that he's back. Um, but Hajimeru is transitive. So someone has to be starting to do this. But I don't think that really makes sense. Well, you know, I mean, it must do. It's Japanese, right? I'm sure it works, but I don't really get it. Hajimeteiru no da. It just sounds like someone is starting the world being menaced by evil magic. I suppose it could be saying Ganon's doing that. Hmm, I don't know. Or anyway, the point is, you know, the world is beginning... Uh, or has begun already to be, you know, menaced, imperiled by evil magic. Uh, toki ni omae. Omae wa imoto wo tasuketai to ima demo honki de omotte iru ka? Um, toki ni, I don't really know. I guess maybe something like, by the way. <laughs> yeah, by the way, incidentally. Okay. And then omae. Um, imoto wo tasketai to. So you, you know, little sister, want to help? Quote, kind of. Ima demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is quote because it's like, are you thinking? Do you exist thinking? Quote. You know, you want to help your sister, and then ima demo just meaning like even now. I guess you know, having failed before, and then honki just kind of means like earnestly do you seriously truly you know with earnest in earnest i suppose 
and then just dare. That's just the particle you use, you know. Using earnestness. Yeah, sort of thing. Via earnestness. Do you even now want to help your sister? Yes. Sono tame nara. Nan demo suru to. Sono tame nara. So, given, or rather, sono tame nara? Maybe like, if it's for that purpose. Tame is kind of, yeah, just for the sake of, for one's sake, or kind of for someone or for something. So, sono tame nara. Uh, for that purpose, yeah, if it's for that purpose. Nan demo suru to. Like, kind of anything will do and then to i guess just quoting it and then omitting the word omoteru like are you thinking quote i will do anything for that purpose yes oh yes yes Soka. um so just you know not really asking us anything but it's just saying is that right is that so kind of thing Naraba, watashi ga kore kara omae no subeki koto iku beki basho e anai shite yarao. Naraba, I guess, essentially just being a conditional. You know, if that's the case, uh, watashi ga I kore kara from this, or as we've said in previous parts, from this point in time, or from here, from you know, from now on, basically. Omae no subeki koto. Um, so the things you should do, the things you should do, um, or your your should do things, if you want to get a bit more literal. Um, beki is basically means kind of should do in the sense of not not in the sense of being advised to do, but kind of the things that you genuinely should do. Um, yeah, like I don't know, man. I don't know how to. I, I don't know how to explain it, really. You know, um, yeah, just should in the more serious sense of the word should, not like I said, not should as in oh, I, I advise you to do this, but don't worry if you don't. You know, it's not that. It's you know the things that you should do for that for that goal. It's kind of the much more serious should. Like, if you don't do it, if you don't do the things that you should, Becky, you know, that you that you should do, then people are going to get, you know, pissed off, or you're going to be hated, or you're going to be, you know, you're going to fail. It's, it's a serious should, um, is Becky. And interestingly, you can take the word suru and omit the ru, obviously. You don't have to say suru Becky koto. This is just subeki, subeki koto. And that's what happens with that. So the verb kind of comes before Becky to modify it. The things you should do. But yeah, as I said, from suru Becky to su Becky. That just, that's just a kind of a one-off special conjugation. You can say su Becky. And then iku Becky basho. So uh, literally the places, you know, you should go, essentially. E, so to those places you should go. Annai shite yaro. I, I basically, I will guide you. I will, I will guide for you. I will guide you. That'll do. Um. Ano ganon dorufu wa ningen no mashite ya. I don't know. Omae no chippoke na chikara de wa shoot. What is this? Something jite tau seru mono de wa na. Um, let me just look this up. Doesn't have the reading tatsu sometimes. Tatsu. Here it is. Jite. Danjite. Wow. Okay, danjite. Right, anyway, we'll get back to that. Can't read it. So, ano, oh, sorry, ano. Ano gano ga non dorothu wa. So that ganon, then wa for the topic marker, bringing him up as the topic. Uh, ningen no. So ningen is basically human. I don't know why, but it is. Ningen is human. 
So uh, human, that's just kind of linking another attribute to human, basically. Mashite ya omae no chipoke na chikara de wa. Okay. So I wonder if it's saying like uh, a human's power or kind of by the means of human power danjite uh, tauseru mono dewa nai so he is he he is not a being that like kind of can that can defeated that's hard to translate you know that that can be beaten i suppose that absolutely can i don't know man i think danjite is on the nai so it's like you know cannot at all absolutely cannot like be defeated person god it's all muddled isn't it god damn i don't get on door to fill up ningen no mash the yao maya no chip poke na chikara de wa dunji te tau seru mono de wa nai oh uh, yeah okay yeah i think that is right tau seru mono so he is abs so he sorry he is absolutely not a being that can be defeated via uh, the power of humans and I think he's adding this as an afterthought he's saying like um, uh, um, I, I think Mashtaya might be a bit like let alone in this case that's kind of like he can't, be, he can't be defeated by humans let alone by your pathetic power, I believe, is kind of the vibe. Mushtia. Yeah, much less. Much less to say nothing of. So we can't be defeated by human, let alone your ridiculously small power. He can't be def he's not a being that can be defeated. He's absolutely not a being that can be defeated by human power, let alone your pathetic amount of that human power kind of vibe. Uh, omae ga kunan no sue ni te ni ireta chikara, sono chikara no mi ga yatsu wo tausu kagi nano da. Bloody hell, I've butchered that, I tell you. So omae ga, so you. Kunan no sue ni te ni ireta chikara. Um, so kunan is essentially... Um, well, it's like pain and hardship, basically, isn't it? So through a lot of kind of hard work, essentially. And then not sue. Sue is like, the kanji means like the end. So I guess it's like the end result, perhaps. Um... I think that's right yeah it's like at the at the end of much kind of painful hardship uh, the power you enter into the hand at the end of a lot of hardship um, that power only um, is basically kagi is key kagi uh, the key of defeating Yatsu, the key of, you know, felling Ganon, basically. So that power is the key to felling, ga uh, felling Ganon. And then Nano, just, you know, explanatory language with data declarative. Wakata na. So, uh, or Wakata na. I don't know how to intonate it, but yeah. Uh, you, you know, you, uh, that's understood, isn't it? Kind of a vibe, I think. Yeah. Dewa Sasoku I think this is like O Unabara O Unabara It's got a crazy reading Yeah 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 O Unabara Yep 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 Um O Unabara ni mukete shubats To itai tokoro da na um, so there were just meaning like now then given that now that we've concluded that conversation uh, Sasoku just meaning like you know immediately at once or Unabara just essentially the the great sea uh, you know it's literally like a, a, a large oceanic field basically large ocean field 
and I suppose just you know uh, I guess just this bara or hara as it's usually read is just a wide spacious kind of flat field perhaps um, so all in our bara just the great sea ni mukete so face towards wait mukete ni mukete it's not mukate it's mukete unless he's saying unless maybe he's saying face me towards face me towards the great sea immediately and then shuppatsu is just it's, it's essentially just departure shuppatsu i think we saw this or a similar word in part i don't know what part it was but before the before we got on the pirate ship they said shukko i think well this is shuppats which is the same but just ko is Coal, shuk coal is only usable for boats, but I guess shuppatsu is also usable for boats because he's a boat as well. But he's saying shuppatsu in this case. Um, and then he's he's stopped for a second, and then he's saying, "Quote, itai, want to say tokoro, uh, kind of place. This is the point in time, the place in time where I want to say this, but danga, just meaning like but basically." Um, so I want to say, let's go right now to the Great Sea. But, you know, he can't say it. Jutsu wa na, hazukashi hanashi da na. Kono hune ni wa ho ga nai no da. Jutsu wa na. Jutsu wa is essentially, I just translate this pretty much as actually. Like, jutsu is kind of reality. Um, so yeah regarding reality I guess in a weird way or regarding actuality perhaps so I just translate it as actually it's it's a pretty good translation it works a lot of the time anyway and then na just kind of just kind of jitsu wa na it just kind of compels us to listen a bit more I feel you know it's just a little bit kind of i don't know man we we, we must have seen something similar did, did like this maybe in a previous part someone said like ano ne you know ano ne and it's like ano is just kind of like um it's like trying to think but then ne is like you know it's kind of like you know it's sort of like getting you on board as part of the conversation a little bit it's kind of just involving you a bit and and it kind of makes you listen a little bit you know um jutsu wa na just you know actually you know and then and then the rest of the sentence it, it, you know it's hard to explain but that's that's basically all it is and then hazukashi just meaning like um embarrassing or shameful or embarrassed perhaps uh hanashi so it is an embarrassing story or it's an embarrassing topic or it's an embarrassing thing to talk about but um kono thune ni wa is kind of like to this boat kind of um kono thune ni wa yeah kind of to this boat it doesn't really mean to though it sort of means like for in the case of this boat in the direction of this boat yeah you could you could almost not use the knee it's kind of as if the knee isn't there you could just say but i feel like knee what does knee do Konofune ni wa. It kind of. It kind of. I suppose it sort of. Gives a boundary a little bit, ni. It's like to this boat, within this boat's boundaries. But it's not a. It's a possessive boundary kind of thing. Or an ability boundary. It's kind of a. It's not a physical boundary. But anyway, it's like basically, um, you know, t to this boat. Um, a sail is not. There does not exist a sail. Like, you know, for this boat, perhaps, there isn't a sail. 
but yeah, it's kind of hard to explain Niwa, but hard to translate it. But anyway, that's kind of it. Konofune Niwa, you know, for this boat, to this boat, this boat doesn't have a sail, or like kind of thing. Fune wa ho ga nakereba urenai. Oh, so, no, no, urenai, yabai. I shouldn't have read it like that. Hashirenai. Hashirenai. Ignore me. Bloody hell. I, I, I'm tired, alright? Leave me alone. Um, fune wa, so boats, um, ho ga nakereba, like this is um, a conditional nakereba, a conditional of nai. So if there does not exist a sail, or if, you know, if a boat doesn't have a sail, um, hashiru is kind of to run, but it's also used for, you know, vehicles, like vehicles kind of hashiru, they, they, you know, they physically travel in a line sort of thing, you know, they, they, yeah, they just, they move, basically, I suppose. They kind of run, in a sense. And this is obviously, this is negative potential. Hashire nai, cannot run. Or, you know, a, a boat with no sail. A, 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 a boats, if they don't have a sail, cannot, you know, travel. Maju to kara toku higashi ni ichi shita. Sorry, I've butchered that. Maju to kara toku higashi ni ichi shita kono shima wa. Sama zama na mono wo uri kai suru shonin. Bloody hell, I'm butchering all of it. Uri kai suru shonin no machida. Okay, okay, bloody hell. Um, so we've got the topic here. So we're bringing up this island. Actually, literally, this island. Um, oh my god, this is a mess. Um, so yeah, I suppose we want to reverse the whole thing almost. We've got like this island. Ichi is like a location. So Ichi shita, Ichi suru is kind of to be located. But it's usually past tense because it, you know. Well, I suppose it, it was kind of perhaps founded here or it, or it, you know, it has kind of been located here. You know, it initially located itself here way in the past, I guess. So it's just kind of... Yeah, it just, it just tends to be past tense, I think. Ichishita. So this island located, basically, um, to um, sort of farly east from Great Beast Island. Uh, and, and as I said, we're just bringing this whole thing up as the topic. So this island located farly east from uh, Great Beast Island or Forsaken Fortress. Um, and then he's going to make his point about the island. Um, uh, 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 Samazama Namono, that's just like various. Samazama is just various, all kinds of. Samazama Namono o... So various things, uri kai, that's like uru is to sell and ka u is to buy, but we've got the stems of both because I guess we're making it into kind of a noun that means buying and selling, trading. Um, uri kai suru, then we're changing it back into a verb. <laughs> so trading, and then shonin is basically a merchandise person. Um, yeah, basically. Like a like a, a retail person, basically retailer, or a merchandiser, or a tradesperson, and then not machi. So it is a town of tradespeople who do you know selling and buying of various things. That's what this island is. It is a town for merchants. Sagaseba hogurai mitsukaru daro. Um, so if you search, sagasu is to look or to search for, and then ho, as we said, that's sail. Gurai, again, I'm not totally on board with gurai. Ho, gurai, it's sort of like, I guess it kind of just means at least. Or it sort of belittles 
the noun it follows, perhaps. It's like you should find something approximating at least a sale. You know, there must at least be a sale here. You know, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of like that. So yes, I guess about if you search, you know, uh, you know, at least something resembling a sale, and then Mitsukaru is a bit weird to translate. It kind of means like to be found, rather than to find. But you know, it kind of works here. You know, a, a, a sale will be found if you search hard enough. Or you know, as, as of course a much more natural English translation would be, you know, you will find a sale. But that's not how this verb works. It's not you will find, it's it, a sale will be found. Um, and then daro, just, you know, assertively seeking agreement rhetorically. <laughs> Getting some weird English in these videos, actually. Um, sumanga. Doko ka de ho o. What is this? This is something weird, man. I know this is something weird. It's like gu. Go something sticky to a Murai Naiko. Let me just look at that. Maybe it's ku. I don't think it's I don't think it's that actually. Hold on. Oh, it's kumen. Okay, kumen. Oh, that's easier than I thought actually. So Suman. Suman this might be a sign of him being the king again and being able to talk to us however he wants. Um, but you might know the word sumimasen, which is derived from the verb sumu, I believe. Um, but yeah, sumimasen basically means sorry or excuse me. Um, but he's using a much more sort of less proper much more kind of just cold conjugation of it suman like you can't really say suman to people because it's yeah you just can't you 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 are unlikely to ever well i don't know i suppose you could with close mates and stuff anyway it's it's he's saying sorry in a way but he's saying suman which is not ideal uh suman ga so it's like sorry but and it feels like he doesn't really mean the sorry, <laughs> to be honest. Doko ka de. So ka just here, meaning where, as like a question, where, and then de, at where. But basically, a question word with ka means somewhere, in this case, somewhere. Nani ka would be something, uh, dare ka would be someone, etc. Itsuka is doesn't really work, maybe. Itsuka kind of means, you know, <clears throat> some when, I suppose, to, to follow the pattern. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it is. So somewhere, at somewhere, or from somewhere, we know, of course, that a verb's going to be done because we've got de, ho, o, so sale, kumen shtekite. Um, kumen is just apparently raising money, collecting money, I guess. Kumen shte, and then kite. So we go and do that, and then we come back. Kumen shte kite. So can you go on and then come back after having collected money? Um, and then morai enai. It's like, you know, negative potential. So, you know, cannot I receive? You're going to collect money for a sail somewhere and then coming back it's you know uh, yeah, yeah yeah can i receive your doing that or cannot i receive that um how much more have we got because i don't want i don't want him to keep going on um shonin no shima ni wa iroiro na mono ga sorotte iru okay um so kind of regarding at kind of merchandisers islands or regarding merchandisers' islands, on merchandisers' islands. Um, wait, this isn't called Shonin no To, is it? I don't think it is. <clears throat> we'll find out soon. Um, iro iro na. So iro iro just meaning various again. I don't know why he didn't want to say Samazama this time, but, you know, same meaning basically. Iro iro na mono. So uh, all sorts of objects. And then Soro is kind of to be 
collected in a like a complete collection sort of thing so sorote iru is just you know they exist having been collected so various things are collected here basically um on on this island or in such on such islands um ho ni kagirazu um Kagiru is to limit, basically, to be limit, well, to limit, essentially. So Kagirazu is a negative of that. So to not limit to a sale, basically. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of works. To not, like, not, not limited to a sale. Hitsuyo na mono ga attara. Uh, this is the um, kind of past conditional. So if there exists or when there exists... You know, kind of essential I uh, objects, essential items. Um, te ni idete oku no da. And again, we have this oku, meaning in preparation for the future. So, <clears throat> you know, place into the hand for the future. For when you need it in future, kind of thing. Um, so a much more natural English translation would be, you know, um, don't limit yourself to just getting a sale, you know. If there are essential items, you know, get them too, uh, you know, because they might be useful in future, kind of vibe. Danga asondeiru jikan wa naizo. Okay, but um, asonde iru jikan. Okay. Um, and we've got wa. <clears throat> I guess again, contrasting this. Like, we have time to collect money to get a sale. That's something we do have time for. But on, on the contrary, um, playing time does not exist. We do not have playing time. We have time for work, but we don't have playing time. And then Zo... I don't know, man. Zo... <clears throat> As I've said before, I don't think people say Zo seriously, but... I don't know how else he could mean it, really. I, f I, I feel like he does mean it seriously here. <clears throat> anyway, it's just a sentence and a thing. Just a vibe changer. Um, yoga sundara sugu ni koko ni modotte kuru no da. Um, so yo is basically kind of business, basically. <clears throat> it kind of translates to, to mean use. Um, but people often say like yoga, you know, nan no yo, for example, which means like, you know, what use do i have for you or what business do you have or what you know what have you come for sort of thing so yoga sundara is basically you know if your business if what you have use of if your needs ah man it's tough isn't it if your business has finished um this is also derived from sumu meaning to end i guess um, so yoga sundara, when or if your business has ended, sugu ni, like immediately, <clears throat> koko ni, to here, modotte kuru, uh, come back, coming back. Kuru just meaning like a, a direction, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so kind of come back this way. And then no da, again, just that way of requesting that we've seen several times. Are we free? We're free. Oh, don't talk to me. Are we going to get a cutscene? We are. Okay, so it's Taurato. I don't know what Taura means. Unless it's Taura. That might give a clue. Taura. 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 I don't know. Anyway, that will definitely do. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget about the uh, text document. Uh, it might not be updated. <laughs> might not be totally up to date, but I do try to keep it, you know, pretty up to date um, in case that's useful. Um, and yeah, you know, thanks for watching. I'll give myself a shout out, actually. Um, I do lessons as well, if anyone's interested. Um, uh, it's in it's in my description, but um, I don't know. M maybe no one's interested, but one person saw that I was doing lessons and now I'm teaching them um so just in case anyone's interested you know i do lessons so you know send me an email and maybe we can talk about lessons or whatever um i should probably mention that every time 
Or maybe put it in the credits or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, thanks. Uh, like if you like, don't if you don't, sub if you want, don't if you don't. Thanks to my patrons. I uh, hope it was worth watching, and I will see you next time.